Hey guys, welcome back to Nerds and Nutrition. Welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a comment from one of the White House press briefings as well as an FDA news release that came out last month. This is in no way, shape, or form a political video. This video is strictly uh, regarding health and the topics that you know we're currently facing right now in our global pandemic. We can try to unpack this message so you guys get a better feel for how your body works, what's really going on, and I also want to touch base on what these, uh, what the press briefing and this article are missing because friends, let me tell you, there is a system of the body that they're not mentioning and I'm telling you what, they're missing the target. Before we do get into that, I just briefly want to share a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not pretending to be a doctor. I am a health and wellness coach. I am here to bring you guys information. I want you to do your own research. And part of that research is experimenting on your body to the extent that you feel comfortable. Because there does get to be a point where we have to be more of our own doctors. And it's not something to be fearful of, but if we have the right tools and the right knowledge and the right support, it is something to really celebrate and have fun with. Okay guys, I have some notes written down here because I don't want to misquote anything, so please bear with me while I just read through a few things. Uh, and then we can dig into this message and kind of unpack what's going on and what is missed. So let's first start with the April 13th White House press briefing. Specifically, I'm talking about a moment whenever President Trump had mentioned a device that the FDA granted emergency authorization on, and this device is supposed to remove certain proteins from the bloodstream, quote, possibly preventing a patient's immune system from overreacting to the virus, end quote. Uh, so then a few days prior, uh, on April 10th, the FDA released one of their news releases, and this news release also very briefly touched on this device that President Trump had then mentioned a few days later in his press briefing. So in the FDA news release from April 10th, uh, they were talking about this device. So in essence, this device reduces the number of cytokines and other inflammatory mediators like small active proteins from the bloodstream. They do this by filtering the blood and then uh, returning the filtered blood back to the patient. So let me put my notes down and let's unpack this message because there is a lot going on here. But my friends, let me tell you this first and foremost, that they are focusing on, and when I say they, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers at, you know, one person or another. It's just the medical community as as a whole. I'm not here to put them down because they are amazing. We need them um, for acute emergency care. Uh, but what we're really talking about here is preventive and we're talking about cleaning the body. And when we talk about those topics, we're not talking about the bloodstream. Okay, there is a different system of the body that's being completely overlooked and whether that's on purpose or just out of sheer ignorance, I'll leave that up to you, but there is a very important system of the body that is not being mentioned here and that is the real issue. That is the true system that we need to focus on when talking about mitigating a patient's immune response. Let's get into this press briefing and the FDA news release and really unpack this. So first, let's start with this device. This device is meant to remove proteins from the bloodstream. Let's first ask why, okay? I want you guys to question everything. Okay, there's this device that removes proteins from the blood. Why? Why would we want to remove proteins from the blood? What is it about proteins that are so inflammatory? This brings us back to the basics of chemistry. So let's take a trip back to 10th grade chemistry or whenever you took chemistry. No, I'm sorry guys, we won't be setting shit on fire in this video. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about the two sides of chemistry. We have acids and base or alkaline chemistry. Acids burn, corrode, they destroy and damage tissue. And alkaline or your base chemistry helps buffer those strong acids. So 
what side of chemistry do you think proteins are on? If they want to remove those from the body, do you think proteins are alkaline or base? Or do you think proteins are acidic? You're right, acidic. Whenever we ingest protein in general, it doesn't matter if it's animal protein or plant protein, there is a nitrogen compound that will break apart whenever the body digests the protein. And this nitrogen compound is very acidic. Now we understand that proteins are acidic. This is why they want to remove them from the bloodstream. Let's talk about blood for a hot second. What is the pH range of blood? Blood should maintain a pH range of roughly 7.35 to 7.45. So again, let's go back to our very basic chemistry lesson. Uh, anything that has a pH of 7 or lower is acidic. Anything with a pH of 7 and above is alkaline or base. So that means that the blood, if it maintains a pH level of 7.35 to 7.45, the blood does have to maintain a slightly alkaline or base pH. With that said, do you think it makes sense for the body to dump its highly acidic waste into a system that has to maintain an alkaline level? Now it becomes clear why they want to remove proteins from the bloodstream because the blood has to maintain a certain level of alkalinity so they can't have a lot of acidity flowing through the bloodstream or it's bad news bears. The real issue lies in a heavily congested lymphatic system, a lymph system that hasn't moved in probably years if not decades a system that has been saturated with very acidic metabolic waste, um, one that is holding on to a lot of strong acids and is already very saturated. By the time we start to see proteins and other things enter the bloodstream, we're in major trouble. We can already assume that the lymphatic system, which is the system meant to deal with these very strong acids and metabolic byproducts, that system is already bursting at the seams and so we're starting to see this kind of spillover effect. But they're, they're just skirting around the truth and they're so very close where they are focused on removing proteins, they're, they're focused on pH and, and removing inflammatory compounds from the body, but it's not the proper system to be focusing on. If we really want true vibrant health, if we really want a true protection from incoming antigens, then we do need to focus on cleaning out the lymphatic system. Going forward, as we talk about the lymph system and how to clean the body in future videos, I really wanna challenge you guys to ask questions. As you read these articles and you watch videos on health, try to understand what their message is to you, but then also start asking questions. What are they not telling me? What, what are they missing, right? And you guys will have the missing pieces. You will understand how the body really works. And as you read these articles and watch these videos with very emotionally charged titles and information to make you not trust your body, you can laugh it off and understand that you're in control of your situation. You understand your physical vessel, how to take care of it, and you can interpret the signs that your body is giving you. And my friends, that is when the real fun happens. That is when the fear disappears, because if you understand your health, you understand how to get your health back and how to keep your health, you cannot be scared, you cannot be manipulated. And, you stop being a cash cow to the system. Let's just put that out there. To wrap this video up today, I just want to say that it is encouraging to read articles and, and to hear even the president talk about devices and treatments that are getting closer to the truth. Uh, you know, talking about removing proteins from the bloodstream, we're so very close to the truth and understanding what's really at play here, but it's still missing the mark. And so again, it is my goal to give you guys the missing pieces so you can start to put that puzzle together yourself and understand what's really going on. 
That is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I really hope that you got something from this video and that you can walk away feeling like you understand a little bit more about how the body works and what your power is in this situation. Just remember, guys, that we do have so much more power over our health than what we may think and what we are led to believe. So as we continue this journey on this channel, it is my goal to give you tips and tricks along the way on how you can get your health back. If you liked this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, and if you would like to see more of my future videos, be sure to click the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. As always, guys, remember, we are changing culture one plate at a time.